It's a job that combines brains and brawn. According to the Honolulu Fire Department, only about 5% of people who apply to become a firefighter actually go all the way. So Arjun Beniza was invited to take part in some of their training, highlighting the many challenges they face on the job. They respond to fires, rescues, chemical spills, just about every kind of emergency imaginable. But I wanted to know what it really takes to be a firefighter. So HFD gave me a crash course in recruit training, testing my ability to scale ladders and operate the hose. And let me tell you, it isn't easy. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> It's a thinking athlete's job. It, it's not something that we can just put, you know, the brute force guys out there and get the job done. We have to operate in dangerous environments, which obviously requires guys to be smart and, you know, be able to think on their feet. And so training, drills, and repetition are key. My training started with CPR. After a quick demo, they had me do chest compressions for two minutes. Oh my goodness. I got about a minute. Okay, halfway there. Halfway there, you're good. I might need some chest compressions myself after this. <laughs> Next, I got suited up, and in an emergency, every second counts. So firefighters have exactly one minute to change out of their blues or their station uniforms to their structural PPE. So right now, I'm gonna be timed. Start the time, all right. A minute 25. Then it was up the ladder to the bucket, 85 feet into the air. It's a good thing I'm not afraid of heights. All that gear adds an extra 50 pounds, limiting mobility. So they showed me how to maneuver through tight spaces. And then go forward and go until your pack hits right there and then rotate. Then they put a darkened shield on my mask, limiting visibility to mimic what it's like in a dark and smoky building. I had to feel my way out by following the fire hose. With the oxygen mask on and all that weight, it was hard to breathe and very disorienting. Woo! Okay, so that was the fire ground survival maze. And I gotta tell you, this and all this gear, it is so difficult just to do that. I can't even imagine what this would be like in an actual emergency situation with a fire. So a lot of props to our firefighters, man. This is extremely challenging. Finally, they had me handle the hose, which I handled like a pro kneeling down. Standing up was a different story. That pressure is crazy. The physical skill set and intelligence required to do the job are clear, but I'm told having a strong mind, being emotionally fit and dealing with the loss of life is really the hardest part of the job. Despite those challenges, Jones says he and most other firefighters got into the field to make a difference in their community. And for us, you know, it's taking that passion and that dedication and being the best firefighter you can be. The 115th recruit class will be starting up this July. Jen Boniza Cage went to news working for Hawaii. Jen did amazing. She did. So from the police training that yes. she had to the fire training, I we know. have a first responder in our own newsroom. You know, and when it comes to firefighters, they carry it, you know, with their weight or their gear. It's like an average of 45 pounds. Imagine carrying that in the face of danger and fire. I mean, that's intense. Amazing. All right. Well, in weather.